Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Mistral just released another new model which is the Depthral 2 and this model is specifically for the coding. You remember that some days ago I made the video on this Spectra model and this was at that time was a stealth model and I told you that this can be the Mistral large model. And yes, Kilo Code has just announced that this Spectra is the Devstral 2 and this is from the Mistral AI. Basically they have published two new model and this model is for free. You can use for all the December month and uh, for Kilo users and uh, if you use it through API then also it is freely available. And they have just published two model. One is the Devstral to 123 billion and another one is the Depthral small 2 which is 24 billion and these are available on this hugging face and also you can use it uh, through VS Code client uh, through their endpoint. The setup I will show you in this video and also they have just published another interesting thing which is the Mistral Vibe CLI. Okay, so here you see that uh, this is their GitHub repository Mistral Vibe CLI. This is their new CLI tool and uh, this is the simple installation procedure so let's start the video okay so uh, if i show you the benchmarks first of all here you see that uh, this is their sw bench verified as i told you that depthral model is specifically for coding and uh, here you see that uh, on the right hand side we have this gemini 3 pro okay let me just uh, make it some small so here you see that on the right hand side we have this GPT 5.1 Codex and Gemini 3 Pro and Cloud 4.5 Sonnet and also this DeepSeek version 3.2 and on the left hand side we have this Devstral 2 and Devstral Small 2. So you see that Devstral 2 is having the 72.2% accuracy and uh, this Claude and Gemini which have the 76-76 accuracy. So it is clearly visible that there is a huge possibility to get the best output from this Depthral 2 which is free and open source model. And uh, I have just tried this model and here you see that this is the output that I have got. This is the travel booking website and uh, I have this flight, hotel, car rental option and there is a different different options for different um, uh, flight hotel and car and this is the beautiful ui and uh, i have tried it inside vs code using kilo code so inside kilo code here you see that devstral 2 is free for all of december right and uh, for that just install this kilo code extension and after that here go to your uh, settings and select this API provider Kilo Gateway and uh, select this model. Here you will find this Devstral. Okay. Devstral. Select this and uh, here you will find this Devstral 2512 free. So just select this model. Okay. 2512. So save this. How I uh, got to know that it is the 2512. So if you go to their official um devstral 2 page here you see that they have written these things devstral-2512 this is the model id and also they have written they have this 20 uh, 256 k context window and the pricing here you see free for a limited amount of time as, as i told you that for whole december you will get the free access and after this december the pricing uh, amount will be uh, this 0 0.4 dollar uh, is the input token and um, two dollar for the output token for one million okay so this is the thing and uh, here you see that the output is really good and uh, if i compare the output with the dipsic version 3.2 also and then we'll get the clear idea here you see that previously when i tested this version 3.2 of dipsic this is the output so let me open this output Okay, let me open this output inside Chrome, inside code, Chrome. So the same prompt, the travel booking website, this is the UI from the Dipsy version 3.2 and uh, this is the UI from the uh, Devstral 2. And here you see that uh, in case of Devstral 2, we don't have the uh, filter page on the left hand side, but in case of Dipsy, 
we have the beautiful filter page this is the new addition that dipseek has added and otherwise there is some uh, beautiful color inside dipseek and also the same thing is reflected inside this benchmark comparison here you see that dipseek has a slightly great benchmark than the dipstral okay because dipseek version 3.2 has the benchmark of 73.1 and um, dipstral has a benchmark of 72.2 okay so this one and this one which is also clearly visible in the output also but it is for sure that if you uh, just um, do the fine tune with the prompt inside uh, this dipstral 2 then you also will get the best output okay otherwise it is fine production ready and the code uh, also is a very uh, in a good manner they have written okay all of that things so you should definitely use this model dextral 2 and um, this is their new studio that they have just published mistral ai studio this is like the google ai studio mistral ai studio on the left hand side you will find the api key option and um, Okay, I have given this Mistral AI Studio link also in description. Go there, do the sign up, and after that, you will find this kind of UI. On the left hand side, go to this API key, and here create your own API key. Give a name, click on this create new key, and get that API key. And what you have to do, just go to this client, okay, and go to this client, select this API provider, OpenAI compatible, and base URL is this one. Okay, and I have given this paste URL in description also. You can copy from there and just paste your API key here. And this is the model ID I have given in description. Copy from there. Okay, so just select it done and do this for the plan and act mode. And if I just if I just write hi, then you will get the output. Okay. Another thing is that inside Kilo code, you don't have to do that much setting. Just do the uh, sign in and select this. API provider Kilo Gateway and then you will automatically get that uh, model. But inside client, you have to provide the base URL and the model ID also and API key, right? So this is the setup and uh, I will make a separate video for this uh, Mistral CLI that is they have published Mistral 5 CLI. I will make a separate video. Otherwise, if you uh, want to follow uh, this uh, GitHub repository, I have given the link in description also. So just simple things you have to do if you are on Mac or Linux, then just run this command. This is enough. And if you are on Windows, then just run this command or this command. Okay, using UV or PEEP. And after that, what you have to do, just go to your project path and just write this vibe and press enter. And after that, the, uh, the configuration are same. Like the, you will get some of the slash commands. You have to just uh, move between them using arrow and down arrow key or up arrow key that is that is nothing fancy inside this uh, CLI it is like the other CLI okay but if you want I will make a separate video on this CLI so this is the thing and uh, this is another next generation coding model and you can use it and let me know your thought your experience in the comment section guys and uh, now you will tell me one thing um, I know for sure that many of you will ask me this question that um, from this uh, from this from this dev style too uh, the ui is good but uh, we need to give uh, we need to fine tune the prompt we need to make another two three requests uh, to get the same output like the um, cloud 4.5 sonnet then why should we go for this dev style too see the thing is that in case of um, in case of cloud 4.5 sonnet or in case of gemini 3 pro the pricing is huge right the pricing is huge and uh, if you compare their pricing with the devstral 2 uh, there is a huge difference between the pricing so if you want the same kind of uh, performance of cloud 4.5 sonnet but with less pricing then you can use this devstral 2 but there you need the uh, 2 to 3 uh, extra iteration okay see here they are charging for 1 million token 0 0.4 dollar but if you do the extra 2 to 3 iteration then also you are uh, you will be charged less amount because a cloud is charging 3 dollar for the um, input token right 1 million input token but here for this 
1 million input token the charge is 0.4 dollar after this free trial right so for 1 million input token for 2 to 3 iteration the charge will be very less right than the cloud so this is the difference so you should definitely try this and then only you should um, then only you should detect that uh, which model is best for you for different people it uh, it will be different that many some people find gemini 3 based some people find cloud based i personally find cloud 4.5 based and now it is your choice what model you will choose for that you should try that okay now i have just given my opinion if you found this detailed explanation then please uh, if you found this detailed explanation helpful then please make sure you like this video subscribe this channel see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care and all the information are given in description go there and check it out okay